Hey guys, Sharpen here. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a music box sound that sounds something like that. So, in order to create a music box sound, I'm going to create a plug out of a sine wave. So, I'm going to use Freex oscillator for this purpose. I'm going to turn down the second and third oscillator's volumes and I'm going to turn the first oscillator down an octave, so it sounds like that. Now I'm going to create a volume envelope to make it sound plucky. I'm going to set the attack to the hold, the sustain and the release on zero. And I'm going to keep the decay pretty long but change its tension curve, like that. I'm going to shorten the decay a bit. Alright, now it sounds pretty good. So I'm going to draw a MIDI note at C5 and now I'm going to put it at the playlist. So what we need now in order to make it sound music box-ish is to use Foley samples. We need a clicky Foley sample and we need a more metallic Foley sample. So I'm going to search in samples that I recorded to find those two. Alright, this one sounds pretty clicky. And this one sounds more metallic, which is just what we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to offset those samples a bit before our MIDI clip so that it has sort of like a pre-clap effect. Something like that. So now I'm going to lower the volume. Something like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record what we have. So I'm going to open up Edison and I'm going to record it. So now we have it recorded, we can sample it. So I'm going to export it like that. And now it sounds like this. Now keep in mind the in order to make it sound more realistic, you should keep the time stretching mode on resample and not change it to stretch, for example, because that way the higher you go in octaves, the shorter the notes become, and the lower you go, the longer the notes become. That makes it sound more like a real instrument, like, for example, a piano or a guitar, where the higher you go, the shorter uh, the decay is, and the lower you go, the longer the decay is. Here's an example, here is C5, here is C6, and here is C7. As you can see, it gets much shorter. And here is C4, for example, or C3, which barely sounds tonal. So basically, this is the sound, and here's a short example playing some chords of it. So yeah, this is how you create a music box sound from scratch. I'll put a download link in the description below to the sample we made and additional metallic foley samples so that you can create your own music box sounds. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you want me to cover up next time.